Hi, Mrs. G. I hope you are enjoying your time with your family. I know it must be just crazy. We miss you guys. We miss you. Uh, we miss the whole class. We miss everybody. I love the Zoom meetings. They've been really fun. Um, I wanted to share something. Please just delete this and who cares if it's not helpful. But um, we really started struggling with getting Elijah to the homework table. And when we talked about schoolwork, he just physically, you can see his whole body, just ugh, he didn't want to do anything. Um, it was really tough for us to get through stuff in the beginning and it just continued to snowball and it got worse and worse and worse. And it was tough to, you know, um, have him jump in with me. Um, so anyways, but we worked through it and I wanted to share this in case people were reaching out to you. Homeschooling is new for all of us. And I just wanted to share something that was helpful for me. Okay, so basically, um, I didn't research this. I just did what what I felt like felt natural. You know, he was he's a um, he was really struggling. I was struggling. It was a pain point that we had to figure out. So uh, what I realized is that his why was not big enough. Why do I need to do this? He'd so much rather be playing and doing everything else. He doesn't have to go to school. Uh, why why is he having to do all this stuff here at home? So I had to help him make his why bigger was my initial goal. Um, so then we created this little thing. I don't know if you can see it, um, but we talked through it and we talked about, you know, it was all about schoolwork and we did a pros and cons list. And uh, we talked through all the cons first. Those were obviously like really quick for him to think up. Uh, he really wanted to spend some time dwelling in that. Um, so I wanted to you know, honor that and let him, you know, understand where his uh, pain points were, what was what was frustrating him. So him writing math was tough. We don't have a printer right now. Uh, it's arriving on the 10th. Uh, so he's had to write out each one of his math assignments. Um, it's taking time away from play. Uh, writing takes a lot of time. There's just so much he felt like it was a big mountain and he wanted me to make sure that it felt like a mountain plus 10,000 feet. Uh, it just feels really big. And then we switched over to the pros. Um, you know, he gets smarter. He loves taking the math tests. Uh, he loves playing the math games. He likes it when we take breaks here at home. Uh, he, you know, if he doesn't do it, he doesn't get to move up in a grade. So by doing his homework, it helps him to move up a grade. Um, he, he is big into engineering, uh, so he gets to know more math for engineering. He loves the art, science at home, he thinks is super fun. And seeing 100% when he passes things uh, and gets a 100%, those are things that he really enjoys about doing it. And so now I was watching his body start to get happy again and full of energy and that spark come back when we were talking through these. And so then the conversation just naturally jumped over here and what I realized is that it just felt really big to him. So then we pulled from that um, and we said, you know, what I was recognizing is um, it was it was really tough in the transitions, right? Like if he was out playing and it was time to come to the table, that was a really difficult transition. So what I ended up doing is when I could get him to the table, I just kept him there until we were done. And, um, you know, I wonder if there are other parents out there kind of doing the same thing. I was doing it without really realizing that. So what I did here is when we're talking through this, we realized that we needed more breaks. Uh, we needed a lot more breaks. And so, um, we've come to an understanding that he can get more breaks as long as he comes to the table with a smile on his face. If he doesn't come to the table with a smile and ready to work, um, we take less breaks during the day and we just push through and make sure that we get it done. Time. We time it. Uh, we don't just do math until math is done. We don't just do writing until writing is done because honestly, it's just like, feel like it's just like cleaning. It'll take as much time as you let it take. Um, so we time it. We don't allow, you know, we sit down for an hour and we work through what we can do in an hour and then we take a break. Writing's difficult for E, so he's, uh, it takes him a long time to do this stuff. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, we do little chunks, uh, not one big chunks, and then we do rewards. Now the rewards part has been super helpful, I think. Um, 
every time he finishes, like when he finishes math, he gets a chocolate chip. That's his reward. Uh, when he finishes his writing, he gets a chocolate chip. When he finishes foundations, which is really nice because it's a quick, easy one, um, it's you know he gets a chocolate chip. When he finishes science, he gets a chocolate chip. So there are rewards built in. I probably I will move it from food-based things, but um, that's what I thought of right away that I had on hand, um, and that's and it's an immediate reward. He doesn't have to wait for it. It's not TV time. It's not outside time he literally gets a reward immediately that makes him uh, happy and this has been working so much better for us okay uh, i just wanted to share a little bit just in case people are reaching out and asking if you know you had any tips or tricks um this has been really helpful for us and whenever he starts to get frustrated or uh you know you can see him getting um down about it all we just pop right back to this we talk about the pros um i'll sometimes i'll break up like math let's say math is a lot one day i'll break it up into a couple different rewards okay all you got to do is just get this you know whatever's the elephant for him i i break it down into smaller little pieces and attach rewards uh, to help him get through it and to get through it positively okay that's it we miss you um, looks like we might not be going back to school. I was just looking at what the governor is saying. Um, but I'm excited to see you next year. And maybe we'll still, we'll have to figure out how to get you everything. I'm sure you guys are thinking about that stuff too. But um, we're missing you. I hope you have a great, great rest of your, your spring break. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.